Hey guys, welcome back. And today, shocker, we're gonna talk about holidays. I know, it seems early, but it's not. And I wanna show you how to do holiday decor so it lines up and feels in context with your personal design style. So if you've seen this video on how to know your style, you know there's three main categories, traditional, transitional, and contemporary. And everything else falls in between all of those. Now, there's four main elements that you wanna consider in your holiday decor. Your front entry, your tree if you're going to do one, your mantle or your second focal point. Maybe it's a stair railing, maybe it's your entry table. I don't know, it kind of varies by your space. And then your last thing is your kind of your tabletop and or your generalized small decor that makes the whole space feel kind of festive and welcoming and part of the holiday season. So we're starting with entries. And you know, the deal is with entries, you have a lot of conditions already to consider. You know, what is your architecture? Are you in an apartment building, etc. So if you're thinking traditional, you're going to have more elements than less. For instance, you can see this lovely one has a garland, a wreath, planted pots, you know, even fruit on there. That's really lovely. Um, another way to do traditional would be say that stripped down farmhouse 2.0 that we've talked about, which I absolutely adore, which is just literally a simple stack of birch logs and a beautiful simple garland, not even any lights. So you can kind of get away with that in traditional which is great if you're more in the transitional it's a super wide category you definitely want to kind of do a wreath but maybe your wreath is all one color of some kind or maybe you just do a statement that's all white lights and then there's contemporary and contemporary gives you the option to kind of hit that mid-century modern or something super stripped down now if you're mid-century modern you'll probably have a colored door so consider I love this silver wreath on the orange door. That's a fabulous statement. Um, a lot of turquoise used in mid-century. So again, silver works really well with that. I love that. There's a Sputnik one. That's a nice statement. You don't need as much when you're doing contemporary as many items, but you do definitely want to get one solid statement up there. So that's taking care of the entry and that's the first statement. So your next element, the big kahuna. It's the tree, all right? Now, there's so much that goes on with the tree and it's usually the main thematic story element to all of your decor. So we really wanna kind of explore that and make sure that what we're doing fits inside of our design story, our design styling. Let's start with the traditional tree. They're always either some sort of combination of red, green, red, green, white, Maybe sometimes there's another color mixed in. You just, you kind of can't go wrong with a red and white tree. Or say you're traditional, but maybe you're doing cabin style. So you want to do something a little bit rustic. This is also a, a beautiful tree. I even love this one, which is kind of got its little tartan plaid going on. So it's very sort of traditional, a little bit masculine. Now, let me say something very important about trees. Often my clients have said to me that they have all of these ornaments for their tree that are family heirlooms. They're things that their kids made. You know, they're special and sentimental and they wanna make sure that they're included. That's totally, totally fine but you just wanna remember, you're gonna to need to do an under layer of some kind of, what I usually suggest is a solid ball color of some sort that will tie in the rest of your space with all of the rest of these ornaments that all have their own little stories. Here's one more that I absolutely adore and it's a perfect example of what I was just describing. This is clearly a traditional space, but what they've done is they've taken a saffron note as their main accent color. So they've kept it green and white with a little bit of metallic, but then 
bing, they hit it with that saffron note that works crazy well with the rest of their space. So it ties it all together and it feels like part of the room and it feels holiday. So if you're in a transitional space, you've got more options in terms of decor statements and you may opt for a classic tree. I love this one that's literally just this beautiful green tree with white lights. Bingo, done. It's the only statement they need. Or this tree, which is clearly transitional. They've got some very sort of groovy mod color schemes going on with that lime leather. And they've added that into what is a kind of a classic tree. And you don't have to stick with that red and green. I love this tree, which is gorgeous and transitional. It's all kind of snow flocked and it's basically white and sort of a, a lovely kind of a craft paper quality to it. This is a beautiful and very perfectly transitional tree. Now, if you're in a contemporary space, woo, the world is sort of your oyster. You can do almost nothing at all, or you can do some very different statements. I mean, there's plywood. There's one here that's just solid light rings, which is amazing. How about just plain garlands attached to a wall in a tree shape? That's fabulous. I even love this ladder. That's very clever and very sort of repurposed. And I love, I love all of that statement. You can also go all over the planet with color. There's been a move lately to do black trees, which are very sort of interesting interesting and kind of mysterious. If you're mid-century modern, of course, you want to kind of play with some of those aluminum elements and those bright colors that you kind of see. Do a pink tree. That's kind of fun. And if you're in the Scandi kind of uh, minimalist statement, which is literally just an exquisite fur of some sort just popped into a corner, no decor at all. It's amazing. Or do some simple white ornaments with a little bit of wood. And it's really all about expressing your style. So now if you're in a small space, don't worry because there's all kinds of tabletop options that are really interesting. I love this one that has, you know, a live bottom to it so you can plant it afterwards. And I love this little one that's very scandy with the white pot and a couple of the small Norwegian wooden ornaments. That's really lovely. Or you can go to something super simple, a paper birch with little tiny LED lights on it. There's all kinds of options open for small spaces and still make the space that you're in feel holiday and seasonal. Next up is the mantle and or kind of your secondary focal point. And if you've got kids and or you're doing a traditional kind of Christmas, you're definitely going to see something like this where you've got the red and green stockings. They're lined up along the mantle. You know, that's that very sort of classic traditional Christmas statement. But maybe you're transitional, no kids or contemporary. All of these can still be statements that can be made. I love just this image of the beautiful little joy wreath sitting on the top of the mantle. You've also got the idea of doing the stockings, but in a transitional way. I love this one with all white stockings hanging down and just a simple wood garland and a little bit of greenery on the top. Boom, done. Then if you're really contemporary, this is a great mid-century modern statement with the sideboard, which is out of groovy walnut. I don't know what that is, but it's really very sort of 50s. Or for instance, I love this one. Clearly they made this out of their entry table and it's got a little bit of a glam vibe to it, which is really nice. Or perhaps this beach one, which is fantastic, where they've got some coral in the center and then they've done greenery. So it feels seasonal, but it feels seasonal to their place and to their style, which clearly is coastal. I love this simple, very Scandi wood bowl with the candle, a little bit of shell and just a little bit of greenery on the side of it or you can do something as simple as a garland. So there's a lot of variety here, especially in the transitional and contemporary categories. But what you want to make sure is that it's the secondary statement and of course ties in in terms of palette and overall statement of elements to your tree and your front entry, which you've already figured out. Now the next thing is tabletop and kind of 
your generalized decor statement. Again, it needs to be contiguous with the other three statements that you've already made. Now, if you're traditional, you probably have family heirloom pieces, maybe even sterling silverware or holiday dishes and glassware that you might use every year. And obviously, there's ways that those pieces get integrated. I love this tartan plaid statement that is so gorgeous with the red and green check and then these amazing gold chargers. Now this is a totally different look. This is much more casual, but it still does that traditional red and green with the little napkins, the white plates. There's some candy cane and some greenery. Much simpler, but still says traditional to it. Okay, now with transitional, again, you have a little bit of a broader range and palette to work with, which is kind of a very traditional silver bowl with a loose array of florals done and then very traditional glass candlesticks. This is an absolutely beautiful tabletop. This one on the other hand has a red and green statement to it, but it's brought in the Fornicetti plates. So all of a sudden it feels a little bit hipper, a little bit more old meets new on things, or perhaps this third one, which I adore as well. It uses bright red amaryllis blossoms as the central theme down the center of the table, and then very traditional, beautiful beaded china, which is lovely, but it has that streamlined, transitional, traditional 2.0. It really feels kind of updated and fresh. Now the third category of contemporary, again, blows the doors wide open. I adore this image. It's all just a citrus fruit and cactus pear statement throughout the table and the wreath that's on the fireplace. That's an amazing statement. Definitely says holiday, definitely says seasonal, but is very clean and contemporary if you're Scandy and really want to keep it super clean and simple. Look at this an unpressed blue linen tablecloth with just a plain line of greenery down the center. Oh, that is so fabulous and so understated and so minimal. And with contemporary, you've got all of these lovely little tabletop elements that can end up also doubling as a tree statement if you're in a small space. Like I adore these cones that are lit up from underneath. So they're like votive Christmas trees that are just lit from behind and white. Those are fantastic. Or if you're a coastal person. Um, I love these little sand trees with the little tiny sand dollars on the top. Those are fantastic. Or how about this simple sprig of white birch with a little bit of red berry on the top. That does not take up much room at all. And it really says contemporary holiday. So there's lots of way things to choose from. Just make sure your elements are staying all tied together with the first three categories. So if you guys like the holidays as much as I do, make sure and ring that bell, like, subscribe, and I'll tell you why. Because from now until Black Friday, every week, we're gonna be giving back to you guys some beautiful things that I found that are so holiday, you're gonna love it. So be sure and watch these videos and make sure and tune in next week and I'll see you guys next week.